Hey guys, it's Krista from Covering the Bases and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing a like get ready with me, um, some new makeup, some old makeup. And this is basically just what the makeup I wear for my vlog um, photos and like YouTube videos. So my recent YouTube video with the Air Pod review, this is actually the makeup I was wearing. I didn't put on the Velvetizer, which we'll talk about in a second, but it definitely was just like, you know, the Armani. The Armani, you know. Um, so yeah, so this is just like what it looks like. Uh, we're gonna go through the process, show you my favorite new finds and how I got this look. So if you're interested, stick around. Okay, so my face is freshly washed. Um, and what we're gonna do now is gonna put on the Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte's Magic Cream. This is super hydrating, but I only really use it when um, I do my makeup. And then for under eyes, we're gonna use Tata Harper, the um, illuminating eye cream. A little bit goes a really long way because it is very, very illuminating. So I just do like literally half a pump and then put it underneath my eyes and take my ring finger and blend it in. So before I put on my foundation, I'm going to use the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. And this is really, really great for um, dark circles and just under eye. I put it on um, just underneath my foundation for when I'm doing, you know, blog shoots or just like a fuller makeup look and you'll see the difference. The texture of it is like very, almost like sticky, but not in a bad way, if that makes sense. So it's it's creamy, um, and it definitely does a great job at covering everything up. So you can see this eye versus this eye. I think what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna do the Giorgio Armani full face using the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Complexion Foundation Brush. But I also do have the oh, Urban Decay Velvetizer. And this is like a mix-in for your foundations. And we'll do one side regular, one side with the Velvetizer on. So this is definitely like a very creamy um, consistency, very liquidy. So I have a problem that every time I watch Charlotte Tilbury makeup videos, I end up buying everything she featured because she's like this is just amazing and then I like see it on and I'm like shit that actually is really amazing this went on literally like skin it definitely is my perfect shade I'm gonna add another layer so it definitely isn't super full coverage I would say like medium coverage but it does like a really great job of blending in and looking I mean just like your skin just kind of covering up anything else. Also, if you hear, I don't know if you can hear that construction in the back, but they're building um, a new part of the city where I live in Hudson Yards, um, and the construction is just non-stop. So that second layer definitely showed up more. This brush is really good at blending it out. I just, I'm like so into sponges, I think they just do a flawless job. So definitely two layers is good for me. Um, with this Velvetizer, I'm pretty sure it like makes it thicker. I tried it very quickly on my Instagram stories. Um, wow, I love this foundation. I can see why everybody raves about it. So here it is with the foundation on this side, um, two layers and then obviously without. So we're gonna try mixing in the Velvetizer. So you can use this as a mix-in for your foundation or as like powder um, for over your skin. Whoa, I put way too much on. It's very, very thin and very smooth. I don't know if you can kind of see with that. Oh, see, there it goes. That's like how light and thin it is. And I'm just mixing it in the back of my hand. So you can kind of see like just really how thick it is when I put it on. So we're gonna blend this out. You can definitely, definitely tell that it's thicker. It's not blending as easy. This is where I think the foundation brush really comes in handy. So you can see that it makes it more full coverage, um, thicker. I think it only needs one layer. I don't think I need two. I get it for this side. So looking at it more close up, you can definitely tell on this side that my pores are a little bit more hidden 
um, then on this side it also looks a little different color maybe this is just like oxidizing some we'll go over with the beauty blender this is a new to me product but obviously not new it anyway this is the mac paint pot and we're just gonna put this all over the lid so I definitely like this as just like a base. I don't know that I love it only because it nobody really ever tells you like quite how thick it is. It just feels very thick, but that's just me. Okay, um, we're moving on to the eyes. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize. I'm in the color Jean. This is their like liquid moussey eyeshadow. Um, and I really, really love this color. Um, I'm just gonna apply it with my finger a little goes a really long way and this is I think just uh, I think just a really nice um, golden shimmery eyeshadow a really good base a good everyday color just when you want to pop up the eyelids um, it definitely shows up more when you have um, MAC paint pot down but I'm also assuming that you can do that just with, like any kind of primer eyelid primer um, I also got in a ton of new eyeshadows from Smashbox. This is the Smashbox Photo Edit Eyeshadow Trio. Um, and the color palette is hashtag goals. So what I do for this is I'm going to take this brown color right here um, and just kind of lightly pop it into the crease. And a little definitely goes long way for this. I'm going to take this darker color and put it very lightly on the outside. Here's how it looks right now. Um, we're going to add the e.l.f. shadow stick and I'm going to take the brown liner part of this and just very lightly kind of go along my eyelash line. This is the Givenchy Mascara Primer. I've been using the Dior um, White Base Mascara Primer. I like it. I don't love it. The Dior Zero Maximizer 3D. Um, I I thought that you know drugstore is, did just as good, um, but I saw a bunch of people raving about this. So I thought I'd try it out. It definitely does coat the eyelashes like really really well. You don't have to kind of wait to build it up. So here they are, fully coated. Um, I really, really like the way that this went on. So I'm gonna put on the shock. Um, this is not new, but this is my favorite, the YSL uh, mascara. So it definitely is a little harder to cover up um, and put on, but it doesn't come off. Cause I felt like sometimes when I would put on the Dior primer and then put on the mascara after the Dior would just kind of wipe off with it this is not wiping off um, but on the flip side of that it's a little hard to cover up so it did a really good job of you know going on and really making my eyelashes pop um, okay so we're gonna put on some under eye I'm going to use the NARS creamy concealer um, this is in the color vanilla and I buy the travel size because it's cheaper. Um, and this color just matches me so well. It does a really great job of covering everything up. So we're just gonna blend out the edges with the larger end. And this is just to really help diffuse and make sure the lines, no matter how blended, uh, look seamless. So in here, we're gonna take the smaller end of the brush and just kind of blend this out. So with this concealer, because it is, you know, creamier, um, it's harder to blend out, in my opinion, with the Beauty Blender. Um, most of the time I use my fingers, but I really like this brush. I've been liking this brush recently. And it just really does a good job of, you know, blending. So you use the bigger end for, you know, like the bigger parts. And then the small end really does a good job of getting in that little nook inside your inner eye. So I'm still using the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder for under the eye. Um, I love this stuff. I I just think it is the absolute best. I'm gonna use my Real Techniques brush um, to apply. And we're not gonna totally bake, but just 
just kind of set it. Because this, this is super creamy, this under eye. So it's just easier to set it and forget about it. So for this powder, I kind of like pat it into my under eye. So for bronzer, this isn't actually new. I just have never used it, so it's like therefore new to me. Um, it is the Peter Thomas Roth Radiant Instant Mineral Brush on Bronzer Sunscreen. That is not um, a full title, I don't know what is. So what this is is just like bronzer slash SPF 30 sunscreen. It just comes out the top right here. I'm just gonna kind of bronze up my face. It's so easy. The product comes out. The only thing is that this brush obviously isn't like the best, um, and like little hairs will fall out. But I really, really like the color that it gives, and I obviously is super into skincare um, and wearing SPF. So any extra makeup that I can put on on top of my SPF, I will do that. For blush, I'm going to use this NARS Duo. I'm going to use the color Orgasm. Um, this is the color I used to use forever ago. I have stopped using it. I don't think I haven't. I've been really only using the past couple years the Milani Baked Blush. Um, so this is new to me again. Um, I just haven't tried it, but we shall see how it goes. I think this is just like one of those universal blushes. They look good on everybody. So I hate having foundation on my lips. It like dries it out. So now that is set, I'm going to put on a light touch with mascara under my eyes. So now we are going to set my face just with the Smashbox primer water. feels good feels good to be a gangster and then the final product i have which i'm really 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 excited about i caved and i bought the cover fx custom enhancer drops this is in the color moonlight so i'm just gonna shake this up and i know people go crazy with this i'm not gonna be one of those people um but i really just like the idea of you know just a more liquid highlight so this is a lot. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever go through this full bottle. Like the tiniest amount will go over the long way with this. So just kind of patting it in, in and up. But I just love, love, love how this looks. It just looks super natural and then whatever is left over I just kind of run on the high points of my face. Put little marks in the corner. I just really, really love this highlight. I like, I just like how it shines, I like the moonlight. I forgot to do my eyebrows. <laughs> well, okay, so here's how that looks. I really, really like these drops. Um, I was nervous to get them in the beginning just because people who use them, I mean, we're putting them, we're putting it all over their face and that was just a lot. I'll do my eyebrows really quick so nobody yells at me. So I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is nothing new. So I think that's it. I don't know, I might have forgotten something because I'm really stressed out because I'm not a beauty blender. No, I'm not a beauty Because I'm not a beauty YouTuber. Um, so please, please don't judge me. Uh, but yeah, so that's it. Um, so to review, I really, really, really like the Giorgio Armani. Um, when I, now that I'm like thinking about it, I can't really tell a difference between the Velvetizer. It still definitely kind of blurs out the pores over here as opposed to just right in here where my pores are a little bit bigger. Um, but other than that, there's like not that big of a difference. It'd be interesting to see how it wears over time. Um, I'm obsessed with these, just obsessed. I think they look so good. In moderation, of course. Um, yeah, I really like the Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow just because I think it's a good base color for whatever you wanna do, or just like a normal, everyday, like throw on base color. So I hope you liked my Get Ready With Me blog makeup. Um, this is definitely not something I'd wear every day, just because this is like a little 
much for me um but i definitely like whenever you're taking photos or going to an event or just like going out this is the full face that i really like um it just looks really natural dewy healthy young youthful those are all i guess the same words um so yeah i hope you enjoyed it uh, everything will be linked down below and i'll see you guys next week